Good afternoon, YouTube. It's me, Shanisha, coming at you with another video. Um, it's a beautiful afternoon. I wanted to come to you and let you know what's been going on for the past week. Um, I have been on my new health journey. Um, a lot of people don't know that uh, I suffer from a spine called reverse myelitis. I'm sure I'm not saying that right, but I've been dealing with this for coming up three years yeah it'd be three years next month actually um and it's a condition where the myelin around or the, the protective myelin around my spine is damaged so at times i can feel very stiff uh my muscles are always aching um i have difficulty with fine motor skills like maybe fastening my necklace or um, doing a button um, those little things makes it difficult when it comes to my hands well those things are difficult um, so it's been a battle I have my good moments and my bad moments um, I try best to continue with everyday life even though I have my struggles um being a mother of three it's not it's not always possible to just sit and relax and take care of yourself the best way that you need to because sick healthy regardless you still have to get up and do what needs to be done there's no if ends or buts but fortunately i have um i share custody of uh, so my kids they go back and forth every other week so this week they will be gone um but i still have to pick them up from school <laughs> um and these times makes it a little more relaxing easier to focus on myself take care of myself um uh which is great uh not everybody is fortunate to um have that me time um but with this illness that's going on um it's a real battle i have medication to make it easier uh, which is a muscle relaxant and a pain, um, pain medicine, which is, I don't really want to be dependent on it. So I've been trying, I've been winging myself off, taking it every once in a while when I'm really down and out and I can't really get up that great. And usually when I take it, um, the next morning I'm like almost back to normal, I should say. Well, as normal as it can get <laughs> so um i've been trying my best um i have this workout not a workout but i've been trying to move more when i get home from work so which is only 30 minutes but anything helps this has been uh what i've been going through this past week uh, so i get home i cook dinner um I help my son with his homework. The older kids, um, they pretty much got it down packed. They know what they need to do. But my six-year-old, yeah, he's my ball of energy that I always have to keep tamed. Um, but, yeah, that's my routine. Home, dinner, homework, sit down for a moment, and then I go outside, and I do my 30 minutes of walking, and I try to jog walk jog and walk um for a mile so for the last couple of days that's what i've been doing i didn't get to it yesterday i was just exhausted but i did get up and i um worked out in the house you know um anything to keep moving is great so this saturday morning i do feel good uh i am kind of being bummish right now I do need to get up and finish cleaning up and doing other things, but I really 
I'm not pressed for time. I'm not on a time schedule. I'm just going with the flow today. Stop and watch it all my ratchet TV shows that I have on demand. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I want you guys to stay tuned. I want you to guys stay tuned and come with me with my journey. Um, I'm sure I'm going to have my ups and downs, but oh, I wanted to tell you more about transverse myelitis. Well, um, it's three areas on top of my spine, just below my neck, and the myelin that protects your nerve is damaged. So I'm very sensitive to temperature, touch, um, a lot of things. It's just not normal anymore. Um, but the main difficulties is the muscle stiffness. The muscle relaxes help, um, but those medications I do have to take at night because they do make you drowsy. I mean, it makes you drowsy and you can sleep well, uh, but I don't want to be dependent on it. If you guys want to um, know more about my story and my journey, um, what caused it, what I've been going through for the last three years, um, please comment, click, and subscribe. Um, I'll be happy to help anyone that is also going through this. Maybe we can um, help each other. There's always a plus. So, yeah. Um, stay tuned. Uh, and hopefully things will get better. <laughs>